Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Akosia Benhine. If you're new, I mean, if you're new, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of the family. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an exciting kind of video. You guys, I mean, you see from the title, I am trying a full face of TikTok makeup hacks or TikTok makeup trends or TikTok makeup tips, however you want to call it. But today we're going to be trying a full face using only tips and tricks from TikTok. And so I'm here for it. Um, so if this is a video that you want to watch, please keep on watching. Don't go nowhere. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. And let's get into the video. I'm excited. I can't wait to see how all of this turns out in all honesty. So um, right now I have, I'm going to open the TikTok app. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted because a lot of the songs that they use... Because a lot of the songs that they use are like copyright music. So I'm going to go straight into it because I have favorited a few videos. So what I'm going to do is I will show you guys the video while I watch it too. But starting off with base. So primer, foundation, all of that good stuff. Change your whole routine and try this instead. Moisturize first. Then after moisturizing, take some translucent powder. I usually use the Fit Me one, and I just... So we're gonna... I'm excited! Oh. First, she says that you moisturize. I want to watch the whole video so that I don't have to... I'm like, keep going back. Too much. Then, take some setting spray. Could be any setting spray. I usually use the... Okay, so first three steps. Oh, first three steps you need to make sure that your skin is moisturized which i already have my skin is like looking really healthy and then the next thing that you do so the next thing that you do is take a translucent powder and then lightly dab that all over your face so i have my s Fon loose face powder right here i'm gonna go ahead and pick my brush same brush that i used to set my under eye oops i'm gonna lightly dab this all over my face I mean, this is something that usually you do when you put on your primer, but in this case, you put on your primer after the whole thing. So let's see how it goes. She she put a lot of powder on her face and she's light skin. So um, I don't want to just blindly follow all the steps that she did. <laughs> you know, on dark skin, I know how translucent powder acts on dark skin. I don't want to look white and cakey at the end of the day, so... I'm just gonna follow gently. Then take some setting spray. Could be any setting spray. I usually use. And then I'm gonna take some setting spray. I'm using the Maybelline Lasting Fix. This is my big girl. And then I think you're gonna wait for it to dry up. The NYX one. After the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. True. So she needs, I mean, she says that you need to wait for the setting spray to dry. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to put on my primer. For primer, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. Um, let me just do what she did. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, primer over powder. So what this step is supposed to do is that it's supposed to give you a flawless finish. Like an airbrush looking finish. I Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Then just put on your foundation and just see what happens and how amazing your fucking makeup is gonna look. And it's gonna stay on 24-7 and it's not gonna crease. If you wear makeup, watch. We are going to be testing this thing, okay? TikTok cannot be playing with our minds and our hearts and our makeup routines. So we're going to be testing this. She said you're not supposed to get any creasing whatsoever. This is supposed to last 24 hours. It is 10.47 right now. It is 10.47 right now. So we're going to do this makeup. Keep it on for at least 7 to 8 hours. 6 to 7 to 8 hours. I sleep very early, so please pardon me. <laughs> but I'll try as much as possible to show you. Because you guys know that I usually get smile lines i mean creasing here maybe some creasing under my eyes sometimes but let's see that's what she's saying so let's see i'm gonna go ahead and put on my foundation i'll usually do my concealer before my foundation um but because i just want to go according to what the video says i'm gonna do that for foundation i'm gonna take my maybelline matte plus poreless 
Fit Me Foundation in the shade Deep Bronze, 370 Deep Bronze. And I saw another trick that said that applying your foundation with a dumb beauty blender is way better so i'm going to do that as well i have a dumb beauty blender on it so i'm not going to use a brush i haven't used just a beauty blender for my foundation in such a long time i use both i'd usually balance both but let's see how it goes so this is done i haven't used my maybelline foundation in such a long time and i miss her so much she behave yourself <laughs> she was my first love oh look at coverage i'm already seeing the coverage but my small line though she seems to be coming through sis what are you saying what is you saying i don't know if it's part of what is giving me a smooth finish um but for now i just like to blame it on the girl's routine and say that it works oh it is actually true around my cheek area where i have the large pores i don't i don't see the large pores again i definitely do have a more smoother finish and i'm not even gonna lie i'm just taking the naked side of the blender and just pressing everything in okay so the next the next one will be concealer this is a facelift concealer hack she says i have seen this on instagram for a few times i think i've actually tried this myself but in this case um it's new i don't know anything about it or well, let's just act like we don't know anything about it this life change i'm gonna show you this life changing facelift concealer hack this is how i used to do my concealer triangle under the eye it's a very bright very dramatic concealer everywhere with this technique, you strategically place it on the inner and outer corner of the eye going upwards, and this will lift the face. Mm -hmm. If you have dark circles, just use a color corrector before your concealer. This uses less product, so it looks more natural, but you can use it. Okay, I'm here for it. I already have more like a full face foundation on, so I'd love to do less concealer so I don't have to, I mean, I don't look like, like over the top. So for concealer, I'm going to take my e.l.f. 16 hour what was i gonna say 16 hour camo concealer in the shade deep cinnamon and i'm gonna use that to do what she said so in a corner right here okay went a little overboard but it's okay and then right under your eye like so okay And then I see that she did the sides of her nose. Let me be sure. So she did the sides of her nose. She had a full face of makeup on, so. And then she did her lip. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with a brush, concealer brush. Um, i forgot that this concealer dries down quick <laughs> so i probably shouldn't have used it all of my face yeah i shouldn't have let me just use my beauty blender that concealer definitely gave me a harder time to blend but also we do see the facelift we see oh we definitely see the facelift effect that it gives um but i'm so used to putting concealer all over my under eye i feel like you know i'm just i'm just a little i'm gonna add a little bit of concealer um but a different concealer a much a much easier concealer so that it doesn't spoil everything i'm using the maybelline i'm just doing a few taps right under my eye you know in the middle where i didn't put any product and this is not as light as that concealer so it makes it easier okay so that looks and feels a lot more better 
as compared to like what I to, like what the video says you should do. Now what I'm gonna do is um if I don't find a if I don't find any hack for say eyebrows, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do my eyebrows off camera. If I don't find any hack for lips i'm gonna do my lips off camera if i don't find any hack for nose contour i'm gonna do my nose contour off camera so that's what i am doing okay guys so skin work is done and let me just say that i love it i'm loving it already but let me finish off the rest of my face and then we'll do the other hacks i have a hack for mascara so we'll probably do that and um yeah let me do that i'll come back really quick okay <laughs> so tired okay guys so i finished doing my eye area i love my eye look i have a video of this eye look on instagram but now the lash um the mascara trick i told you guys that i have a mascara video let me show you let me just show y'all the best trick that tiktok has taught me in 2020 so you take your mascara get some kind of card Put it behind your lashes, pull your lashes up, and just press the mascara into your lashes. Into your lashes, okay. So, um, I have a full eyeshadow on, so I don't know how this is gonna work, but I just took a regular, like, card that I could use. <gasps> I can use it, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> For mascara, we're using the CoverGirl Uncensored Mascara. Hopefully, I, I mean, I feel, I, I have a good feeling about this one. This one I definitely feel like is going to turn out looking exactly how I want it to turn out. <clears throat> so, um, you put the paper or a card, whatever, you put it here, right where your lashes are. And, <gasps> it's so creepy! So apparently you're supposed to do it and press it onto the paper. That way your mascara... I mean like your lashes get the product but my mask my lashes my natural lashes are very curly so I don't know how to go about this at all <laughs> it only seems to work for the middle part of my my lashes which is weird okay 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 I'm getting it oh yes definitely I definitely got it on this eye <laughs> my eyes are gonna tear up but I definitely got it on this eye um see which is good but it definitely works yeah it works it, it, it works I see that my lashes have become a lot more longer than they would usually be especially with this mascara because this mascara is a volume mascara volumizing mascara and it's not supposed to give me any length whatsoever so this trick is definitely doing something let me try this side of the paper and try this eye again i like it i love it if you have sensitive eyes like myself then you're going to have to be extra careful because my eyes keep like trying to water in between every section but yes definitely i like it i like that you see definition especially for my everyday makeup i think i might be doing this to my lash area for when i don't want to put on lashes you know now for blush using the same blush nika k duo blush using the orange side of the blush and then also with the blush if you want to get a facelift you still need to follow the same process that you did with the concealing and the contour um i saw that in another video i just can't find it right now but I know for a fact that she said you should keep your brows arched this way and then your um, concealer that way and then your blush and then your highlighter also should go in that order and then that way you're gonna get the facelift look so that's what I'm gonna do highlighter because my face is pretty full or because I have like a lot of makeup going on I mean it's not like a lot but I do have a full face I have full face eyeshadow like you know base and everything so I'm gonna be very light-handed this is Milani Berry more from my previous video this gives you a very subtle glow really really subtle so you don't have to worry about nada and I'm also gonna keep it on the highest part of my cheekbone just so that we keep having that face lips oh i love it i love it i love it i love it 
and then I'm gonna press down that with my beauty blender see a lot of tips and tricks today oh my god press everything down with my beauty blender and it just takes away all of the harsh color all of the harsh highlighter look everything blended in looking beautiful now the last thing i'm gonna set my entire face with my pressed powder i know um i saw a video on tiktok that said that it wasn't important to set your face but i just like to do this to finish off everything you know and my my setting powder definitely gives me extra coverage and it gives me my kind of skin finish it's a lot more my skin tone so my setting powder just balances everything out then I just swipe it under my under eye a little bit just so that we have that even under eye look and then now last step I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my setting spray okay guys so the makeup is done now but there's a last trick Pro makeup tip. yes that's a last tip or last trick for after everything is done so let's watch that and do that i'm gonna show you this pro makeup tip keep a big fluffy brush without any product on just a brush that's kind of clean by your makeup station once you've done all your makeup take that brush and just sweep it all over your face this is going to blend out any lines blend out all your makeup so everything looks absolutely seamless pro makeup tip keep a okay so that's basically what you do after your entire makeup you just take a big brush and then just sweep that all over your face to finish everything off so yeah so this is the finished look <laughs> now let's talk about these tiktok tips and tricks first of all um the base routine i like it i like it i like how it's holding up like i said i'm gonna do a wet test so you guys will see so maybe the wet test is what we can really say if the base is good but one thing that i think that i might be incorporating in my routine because we learn to learn you know i might be incorporating in my routine is the concealer that you put around your lip i think that i need to do that a lot more because if you watch my previous videos you will see that my lips don't look this defined and i've been looking for a way to work around that you know because i have some i have something around my lip i don't know what it is it's been there for the longest time for as long as i can remember it's not acne it's not, it's, it's like it's my skin but it's patchy around that area i don't know so i usually have to conceal around my lips but i find that this helps a lot better it stays there like i legit can still see that it's there so which is good aside that everything else i think i would wait it out wait for the wear test and then we can both agree if this is good we'll come back in the next six hours seven hours ish I'll show you guys if this holds up and then after yeah after that should be it so yeah <sighs> okay guys so it is currently almost 6 p.m currently 5 51 and this is what we look like right now i haven't touched up i feel so weird i'll usually never go through my day without touching up i haven't touched up any part of my face i have been out to do a little bit of grocery i cooked i've eaten i literally just came back from town again so i've been in and out of the house like two to three times and then i've been trying as much as possible not to touch my face but it just feels very uncomfortable and i wanted to show you guys and i told you guys i remember i told you guys that i sleep very early so i don't think that i can keep this on till seven eight ish um so i'm gonna go do my skincare my evening skincare right now so um i figured i'll show you guys but this is what we look now i showed you i did the makeup at 10 47 a.m today which makes it a little bit close to seven hours, um, which is good, which is not a bad thing. I think the, the, what I have to do is touch up my nose area. So let me touch up my nose area, but because I have a lot of oils going on, I just want to be sure so that I don't touch it up in a way that it gives me 
um, bald spots or bald patches. <laughs> I don't know if that's what they call it. But let's just touch it up to see. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me powder to touch it up. This is a loose setting powder. And then the same powder brush that I've been using. Just touching up in the areas where I find them like really oily. And let's see if... Oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay, guys. I just 